Well, guys, that's a wrap. We've just wrapped up the 2020 Suffolk Bass Pro Series here at Lake St. Clair, and I've got your champion, Matthew Langford. Uh, mate, you absolutely look stoked for this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've never won a, an ABT event, so, um, yeah, to do it down here, St. Clair would have to be one of my favourite dams um, because you can just fish light and you can fish kind of however you want, so it's um, pretty cool to happen. I think uh, Chris Hickson summed it up pretty well before he called it a farm dam and mate it is really at the moment with the water level it is just a little pond isn't it? Yeah it's lower than what we're used to I think it's like 37% or something but um, yeah I mean well, I thought it was going to be a little tri tricky with so many boats but it, there's still plenty of room which is cool. Yeah there was a few concerns coming in it wasn't going to be big enough but mate if you find you found your fish so that's all that matters. Um, talk us through from day one uh, into today. Uh, I guess the biggest thing pre-fish day, um, you know, I found fish deep and I could catch fish deep, but um, I wanted, I knew that I could catch bigger ones shallow, but I just didn't know where they were because I fished so much bank. But I did go up um, into the Caribou Calm on pre-fish day. Um, I, uh, Brad fishing with me, he caught a couple fish on cicadas. Um, went up into the Caribou on pre-fish day and found some fish shallow and thought, okay, this will do. Um, day one, went up to the Caribou. Um, as soon as I got onto where I wanted to fish, I just lifted my head and looked along the opposite bank and I saw a ton of shags in trees. So straight away just motored straight over there and then proceeded to fish these um, shag trees and straight away had a cicada on, threw it out and I think it was the first cast, one come up and busted all over it and I thought, righto, this is us. So worked out great. We just fished that all weekend basically in the first hour, um, caught our bag both days and then just yeah tried to go around and try and upgrade. So while we, let's talk about that key technique you mentioned there uh, with, the, with the cicada nice and early. Here he is here. We'll just uh, come up there to show you guys. Just a little, uh, that's a baby siglet if I'm correct, a little mega bass baby siglet. Um, it seemed to be the key and I see you've got the extra little hook uh, rig there on the front. Talk us through that one. Yeah, so I just, the way it's rigged, I think, uh, I guess it's just got one treble uh, on the belly of it. And the way I rigged it, I just put a split ring and an extra treble on the back just to have more hooks, I guess. Um, day one I found the I wasn't sticking as many fish and I lost a few so I just you know put that extra hook on there and um, stuck a few more which is good but um, yeah just fishing the Miller Rods extra finesse long cast uh, they do them in a production model now um, and it's just one of those rods it's 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 very versatile spin rod um, seven you know seven foot three you can cast it a long way cover lots of water with it and you can throw anything you want from you know 20 gram spoon right to a one eighth head yeah, just holding it there. There's no weight in that combo at all, is there, mate? Yeah, it's good. It's 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 great in the hand. Um, I use a, a TD Black reel with it as well, and it's just a really nice, smooth combo. It's good in the hand and it's comfortable, and you can fish with it all day if you want. Well, mate, you've had an absolutely stellar weekend. Uh, as we mentioned before, you've got a pretty healthy stable of sponsors that you'd love to thank, uh, mate. Uh, who uh, who exactly would you like to thank? I guess the the first one this weekend, which was another key, uh, was Garmin Garmin Australia. They they've been ridiculously helpful over the last three years for myself and their technology at the moment is, is just really kicking some goals they've got a lot of stuff happening with um, their live scope they've now got perspective um, but the Garmin live scope Ford view I used a lot this weekend uh, once I realized where those shags were um, I could really pinpoint them because basically once those shags flew away and if you weren't keeping an eye on them you could just run the live scope underneath the trees, sweep underneath and you could see all the fish sitting underneath them and then you know you'd throw your baits in there and and you know it wasn't long before those bass had come up but um, yeah so that, that was a real key and even when I was fishing the weed later in the day it gave you peace of mind knowing that there was fish underneath you swimming through the weed so you knew eventually you were going to get a bite you just had to stick with it so yeah Garmin, Garmin uh, have been really helpful to me over the few years and and Ken Mills Toyota um, being able to drive uh, a Toyota SR5 back and forth um, down New South Wales for the last four years it's been extra help so Ken and Cheryl from uh, Ken Mills and King Arroyo I, I couldn't you know, <laughs> car costs and that sort of stuff would be sky high. So, um, yes, yeah, so it's been, been really good. But all my other sponsors as well, you know, Bassman, Costa Australia, JML Anglers Alliance, M&J Auto, there's, there's, a, there's a really good supportive crew of people behind me. I know I haven't mentioned everyone, but um, it, without help from those people, um, it makes things really difficult. It makes things really expensive. So I want to say thanks heaps.
Well done, mate. Uh, you've had an absolutely cracking weekend, and uh, it just goes to show uh, you have the technology, you have the right gear, and you uh, can come out on top. So that's a wrap, guys. Uh, we're going to pack up here uh, from the shores of Lake St. Clair. Just signing out on our 2020 Suffolk Bass Pro Champion, Matthew Langford. Well done, mate. Thanks, guys.